What's up, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. And, you know, lately the Democrats, they've been struggling. They've been struggling to put together a legitimate squad. I mean, I was talking to somebody today and they were talking about all the lineup. I mean, if this was the draft pick, you wouldn't have very many good people to pick from out of the squad that they're putting together. I mean, who you got at quarterback? Joe, sleepy, sloppy Joe Biden, sleepy, creepy, sloppy. Yeah, he's out there under the, the center talking about some blue 39. Blue thing. Joe, huh? What? Oh, uh, hut, hut. Well, I mean, who you got at running back? Bernie, huh? Bernie in the back talking about some, hey, coach, are we going to run that socialism play on two? I mean, who, who you got split out there? Bathroom Booker talking about throw me the ball, coach. They're horrible. They got a ragtag team. They're like the Wildcats. Y'all remember the movie? Football, Wildcats, football. Wildcats. They are like the Wildcats, undisciplined, out of control, out there just talking reckless, saying whatever comes off the top of their dome, and yet trying to convince us why we should vote them back in the office. Mm-hmm. No message, no policies, no nothing but rhetoric. They're just simply saying, you know what, you shouldn't vote for Trump because everything's so horrible. So then you got to ask yourself, well, what's so horrible? What are you trying to get everybody so mad over? Are you trying to get them mad for nothing? And see, that's the problem with a lot of Americans. And I'm concerned. I would like to think that Americans would say, hey, I'm going to look at the substance of my life and decide if things are bad or not versus watching MSNBC, CNN, listening to the Democrats try to tell me that the economy suck, but yet my 401, I mean 401k is skyrocketing or I made this much money on the stock market or my job didn't move overseas. That's the stuff that they want me to overlook and look at Donald Trump because he's just, he's a bad guy. He's, his morality's down and divisive language and all of that stuff. They want folks to focus on that stupid stuff so they don't see the substance. Mad for nothing. That's all it is. And I'm saying, what do you want to mad at? Hmm? They're going to wake up one day and say, man, I was mad for nothing. Are you mad? You got to do a comparison. See, that's what you got to do. You got you to really try to appeal to the logic of some Americans, which... I would like to believe that there is some, but I mean, I've been disappointed in the last year and a half, two years. Uh, I mean, so many, 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 many times Americans have disappointed me when it comes to the voting decisions. But nonetheless, what are you mad at? Are you mad that life is good? Are you mad that ISIS is no longer a, a, a major threat? and they've gotten rid of a lot of the territory. Is that what you're mad at? I mean, what are you, oh, you know what? This is, you know, should keep their noses out of other people's business. ISIS should be allowed to just run rampant over there. Are you mad that this prison reform, Donald Trump's getting black people out of prison? This is ridiculous. Is that what you're mad over? They want you to be mad over stuff for nothing. Are you mad that there's a war on illegal immigration? Oh, by all means, just tear down all the borders, open up the gates, flood gates, let everybody come in, enjoy themselves, ravage through all the resources, flood all of your neighborhoods and stuff like that, uh, and bring whatever they want to bring to our country with no accountability. Is that what you're mad that President Trump trying to have some type of decency and order? Are you really mad at that? Are you mad that he's protecting the First and the Second Amendment when, in this day and age, they're trying to get rid of them? Every single time they come on TV, we got to do something about Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and all of that stuff. You know why? Because they ruined it for Hillary, and these people are out there combating all of our narratives, so we got to try to censor them. Yeah, is that what you're upset about? That they're trying to, uh, 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 we trying to hang on to freedom of speech and the First and Second Amendment? The right to bear arms? Are you upset about that? You won't be so upset if you were over in Venezuela right now where they're running people over with tanks and all you got is a hand with some skin on it. You wouldn't be mad. All right? So what are you mad at? What, are you mad that he put Supreme Court justices on the court that's actually going to simply hold on to the Constitution? I thought that's what uh, our whole government's based around. I'm just saying. Are you upset that unemployment is at the lowest it's been since 1969? Is that a problem for you Americans out there? Everybody upset about that? 3.6% uh, unemployment, prosperity boom. Are you upset with that? Are you upset at the fact that we got lower tax rates, which jump-started the economy, rolled back all those pesky regulations? Hey, I want to uh, build a walkway. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, we're going to let you build that, but you got to relocate this rare butterfly to another uh, uh, habitation, and then you're going to have to make sure that we come out and inspect this every 17 seconds. 
and that's going to cost you $600 every inspection. Are you mad that they rolled back regulations which jump-started the economy? Are you, upset that, are you upset that we now are the number one when it comes down to energy uh, yeah, exporting? Is that, is that what you're upset about? All these jobs that's being made and, and people keeping them? Are you upset that this trade reform is going to make our, company, our, our country more prosperous? Is that what you're upset about? Are you mad that we have 3.2 GDP coming out the box first quarter? Man, numbers are amazing amazing what are you mad are you mad oh, oh see i understand you're not supposed to look at these things you're supposed to look at russia collusion that none was found you're supposed to look at well maybe he obstructed justice and and bars hiding stuff that's the real important stuff isn't it hmm? are you mad at the fact that 263,000 jobs have been created in the first quarter is you are you upset go tell those people you know what you should take back and get back your job because trump he colluded with the Russians, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, even though there's no evidence. But you should give your job back. That's what you tell those people, huh? Hmm? Are you mad at the fact that, you know, wages are going up in the blue collar? I'm not talking about for the rich. Wages are growing up for blue collar workers right now. They're outgrowing the top 25%. But yet, what? People walking around still mad for nothing. Mm -hmm. You're mad that what? The, 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 the inflation ain't growing up? I mean, we want more inflation. Is that what you want? Is that what you need? We need more inflation. That'll do it. Uh huh. Are you mad at that? Women's unemployment rate is at a 3.1% low. Latinos, 4.2. Uh, Asians, 2.2. Even war veterans, 1. Point something. I forget what that number was. But look at all of this stuff. The stock market. Trump has added $9 trillion to the stock market in two and a half years. Military, stronger than it's ever been. Uh huh. Protecting freedom of religion and things like that and yet folks walking around here distracted by russia collusion and trump called a couple countries assholes what are you gonna do you're gonna trade all that in you're gonna mess up a good thing that's what you want to do hmm? are you the person that messes up stuff if you vote for the democrats that's exactly what you're gonna get you're gonna swap all this prosperity and stability out for what socialism i mean you don't need to do that how about just move down to what venezuela you can enjoy that you know, go down there and help them in their brigade. Uh, what? Health care, free health care that'll bankrupt the whole country? Hmm? What about free college? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to swap out all of this prosperity? The Democrats, if you vote them back in, it will go. I'm it will be like a plane going up and just right down. I'm not talking about drift down. I'm not talking about glide down. It would be an immediate straight nose dive if you vote them back in. That's what would happen. Higher taxes, Bernie. Uh, Elizabeth Warren out there talking reckless, want to tax everybody, uh-huh. Weak immigration, wake up, you have about three people laying in your bed next to you, like, oh, don't worry, man, we didn't want to wake you. We came in last night, we're laying in your bed, they told us it's okay. They said, you wouldn't mind because we simply want a better life, that's all. So we're going to go ahead and sleep in, we want to get, you know, we work covered, we had a long trip. You go ahead to work, we'll make sure we take care of everything, let ourselves in and out, you know, uh, you cool with that? Que pasa? Yeah, so that's what you want? Horrible immigration laws? Do you want the green deal? Because hmm? that's what you're going to get. Nothing but green poop with peanuts in it. That's what you're going to get when the government's telling you, ah, 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 ah. you can't buy that car. Ooh, it burns a little too much gas. We're going to have to have you reconstruct your whole house. Well, wait a minute, I just paid it off. Yeah, you're going to have to take out another loan to update it to all these regulations because we want to be friendly to the environment. That's why. Well, what about China and, and India and all of them? Hey, 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 don't blame me. You voted me in, okay? Don't blame me. We sold you a bag of poop by telling you this is good for the environment. And it sounded great, but we didn't tell you who had to pay for it, did we? Uh-huh. Is that what you're going to swap? What? They're the party of what? Chickens now? You know, uh, uh, you seen them out there talking about bar didn't come and I got chicken and, you know. Yeah, they, they, they're out there playing around. They're having fun. They are the ragtag team. That's what they are. You're going to swap out all of this for what? Tolerance for anti-Semitism. You know, non-patriotic people in office hating America. Ilhan Omar running around rampant in Congress saying whatever she want to say. America sucks. They're responsible for everything. They're, all of that stuff. And all the, the Democrats, uh, leave her alone. She's that angry black lady that nobody wants to deal with. So we're going to ignore her and let her say whatever she wants to say. Uh, that's, what's, that's what's going on there. huh? What, you want a, a, a party that is, is okay with blackface, governor. Governor still posted up in the penthouse down in the governor mansion in VA. He's chilling. Ain't nobody going in to get him out. Huh? What, you're the party of what? Regulations uh, to stifle the economy. Vote him back.
back in. Go ahead. Go ahead and see what happens. Huh? What? You you want the party of, of anti-ice? Get rid of ice. Yeah. Let some people live in your neighborhood that should be deported and they're uh going around terrorizing everybody and then ice talking about I can't I can't I can't come. I can't come. They put it they handcuffed us. The American citizens that were put in place to protect you guys, but the Democrats, they don't want that. So you're on your own. Oh, you can't defend yourself because they took away your guns, too. And you also can't vocalize the fact that you're upset about it because they took away your First Amendment. Sorry about that. Anyway, wish you luck. Huh? Is that what you want? Huh? Do you want a, a, a party that is filled with nothing but identity politics? You're not an American. You're black and you're disenfranchised. You're not Asian, you know. No, I mean you're not American. You're Asian. That's what you are. And you know what? Nobody likes you. Yeah, you're not. You're not an American. You're a woman, and, and, and you're being oppressed. Yeah, that's what you are. You're not all Americans. No, you're you're gay. You're you're lesbian. You're short. You're tall. You're this. You're that. And we're not judging you on your intellect, your merit, your behavior, or the words you say. It's all based off of your religion. If you are of anything but Christian, of course, uh, your color, uh, if you're anything but white, your sex, if you're anything but straight, you know, um, that's, those are the things that we're judging you on. Oh, oh, and then, of course, if you're anything but conservative, there you go. That's what you want, vote them back in. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you do that, you're going to ruin a good thing. Now, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. I hated to have to lay it down like that. I'm telling you, drop the mic on, check one, check one. This thing on, turn on my music, my beat. Uh, uh, see, that's a lyric in rap music, just for those maybe not, you know, that's one of those fillers where you're trying to get the uh, uh, it's kind of like with James Brown, <laughs> you know, that wasn't a word, but it kind of became a word. And then, <laughs> the mind the people say, of the mind, fear you. <laughs> see, so anyway, I hated to have to just drop it like that, but that's the truth. They will ruin a good thing, so we got to vote them out. And I ain't talking about a small majority. I'm talking about full-blown run the board on the Democrats in both the Senate and Congress. Yeah, the House, rather. I'm sorry. You know what I meant. Anyway, God bless you. Check me out every Wednesday night, 730, live on YouTube and also on my radio blog talk show. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Check out Extreme Tees. Bam. Yeah, man. Get a look at it. See, the eyebrow for the commercial. After a long day of work, I like to come home and put on my nice, soft, relaxation, extreme t-shirt with a nice hat to go with it. If you are interested in extreme tees, check out the link in the bottom. Click on it. Put my name in a promo code, Kevin, and you'll get a 20% discount. Yeah, see, you got to talk like that when you're doing commercials. Um, and then also, don't forget to uh, find me on Facebook and on Twitter. And if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, you can do that as well. There's a link in the bottom. God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner. Peace.